number sense, meaning how we think about numbers, right? Reasoning why we think the way we do about different numbers. And then we are successful um, when we can solve various um, strategies and we can make sense of each other's ideas, okay? We can solve things using various strategies. We make sense of each other's ideas. Uh, remember our routine when we are working with number talks, we um, get a problem. I call it the what? The naked number, right? The naked numbers, right? And then we solve it silently. And then we put a thumb up. We assume the position right. We put our thumb up if we have one strategy. And then while we're waiting for our classmates, we come up with a second strategy or a third strategy, right? Um, then we share our answers. And then we share solutions. Simple enough? Yes. Sounds familiar, right? Okay, so here is our first one. Remember, we always start out kind of easy, okay? So our first one, not going to say it, but you're going to read it. Assume the position. Start solving. like a lot of people have at least one strategy. A lot of people have more than one strategy. So what was the answer? Raise your hand. What was the answer that you came up with? Jalen? 100. 100. Did anybody come up with something different? So 100. How did you come up with 100? So this is where we share our strategies. How did you come up with 100? Ethan, what did you do? What I did was I covered up the zero and I knew Five times two equals ten, then I added that zero. Okay. Okay. So he thought two times five equals ten. And then did you add a zero or did you put a zero on? I put a zero on. Thank you. Okay, because I like to be real precise about that. We didn't add a zero because ten plus zero isn't going to get us one hundred, right? We're gonna put that zero on. Okay? So in your head, you're thinking 2 times 5 is 10, and then put on a 0, and now I get 100. Okay? Someone else with a different strategy? Anyone have the same kind of strategy? Okay. Good. Someone with a different strategy? Hannah? Um, what I did is think about the quarters. Oh, okay. Tell me more. Um, I did... Well, I thought about like four quarters equal a dollar, so I separated it into two groups. So two quarters on one side, two quarters on the other, and once you like count them all, mm -hmm. it equals one dollar. Or if you want to use math, so it's, it's like a hundred. Okay, so where did you get two quarters out of? What what were the two quarters representing? Two quarters were representing fifty cents. Okay. So the two quarters were representing 50 cents. So 50 cents, right? Oops, 50 cents equals two quarters, right? And then what was your next step? And then I put them into two groups, like 50 and 50. Oh, okay. So then you had two groups of two quarters. Yeah. So can I draw those quarters? I'll just put that there. Because I know one quarter is 25 cents. Okay. And then it was like you're adding those two groups of quarters. So we called that, what did we call that on Friday? We called it the what? What strategy? The money strategy, right? We called it the money strategy. And you said this is equal to 50, and this was equal to 50. Hannah, right? And so then what? So then I added 50 and 50 together to get $1 or 100 Okay. All right. So this equals $1. And this equals, oops, $1. And this equals 100 $1 is the same as what? 100 100 oh, 100 pennies. 100 pennies or 100 
cents, right? A hundred pennies or a hundred cents. All right. Okay. So there's this is one. This is two. Anyone else have the money strategy? Okay. All right. Cool. Um, what was another one? Let's do one more. One more. Traven. Um, what I did was. Two times 50, I just made two 50s and then added them. So you knew that this meant what? Yeah. Two groups of 50. So, so in your head, you're thinking two groups of 50, right? And so you, you said you did what? I sent it to two. Oh, okay. All right. So this is your thinking, and that's what you did. All right. All right. Anyone else do it that way? All right. So now, here's my next challenge. Okay. I'll just write it up here, and then I'll finish reading. All right. Kind of building here. All right, so the position. Come up with your answer. I see everyone with at least a thumb. So, what is our answer? What is our answer? Colin? 200. Okay, 200. Anybody have something different than 200? Okay, so 200 is our answer. How do we know that's true? Amir, what's your, what's your strategy? Can you be louder? Um, I knew that four times five is twenty, so then I put it on the wrong zero on. So then you put the zero on. Four times five is twenty. Put this zero, right? Put the zero. Anyone else do it that way? Okay. That's pretty safe, right? Okay. Um, Andrew Lee. I use like the money. Okay, so the money strategy. Tell me more. So I knew that two quarters equal fifty, and then I knew that two more quarters equal fifty, and then two quarters, two quarters, fifty, fifty. And then so I did that two more times. Oh. Okay. Well, what else does this show? Just these 50s. This shows what? Turn and talk to your elbow partner. What does this show?
I'm going to challenge you with this one. People are already there, a lot of you. Nice job. Start solving. You're using, what is this again? Divide besides division, sorry. But what, it, what is that process we use? The inverse operation, right? The inverse. Inverse meaning the opposite, right? Okay, turn and talk to your elbow partner and see if you have a different strategy. If I did seven times five, I mean, uh -huh. five but does seven times seventy times five times seven 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 times did someone come up with a different strategy from their owl partner that they thought was kind of interesting? Traven? Uh, what my owl partner said is that he, he had um, he had added two fifty, he had added two fifties, then another two fifty, and then another, and then when he had three dollars, he added up one fifty instead of two. Groups of 50. Okay? Which is exactly what we need to think about when we do this multiplication, right? Okay? You want one more challenge? Mm -hmm. Okay. So before I do, thumbs up if this was challenging, thumbs down, or uh, no, thumbs up if this was easy, thumbs down if it was challenging, and a wiggle if it was in between. Thumbs up if it was easy, thumbs down if it was challenging, wiggle if it was in between. Okay, so I am hoping, well not hoping, but I really want to get those brains going, so I'm hoping that this one that I give you next is challenging. Okay, so assume the position. Ready? And this will be our last one. Okay, see everybody with at least a thumb up. What's your answer? What'd you come up with for your answer? Orlando? 550. Anybody have a different answer? 5,050. 5,050. Anyone have a different answer? Traven? You just had 50. 50 was your answer. Okay? Hmm. So, I want you to talk and turn to your elbow partner one more time and tell your elbow partner first which of these is your answer and then how did you come up with that answer? I did. What your answer was? Five um, times one. Five uh, times one again. Zero. Put on the zero. Okay. So I just straight. Okay. 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 All right. I'm going to listen to two strategies. Okay. I'm going to listen to Romero's strategy first, and then I want to listen to one other strategy. Okay.